Obviously, I'm online quite a lot. I use Twitter quite a lot. Um, and there is some awful things that happen online. You know, people do get bullied and take their own lives. Um, there's a lot of really nasty websites as well. Uh, I remember talking to a young woman who had been quite addicted to the websites about um, being thin and, you know, t and telling you sort of tips about how to be thinner and thinner and thinner. So I do, th I do think that there should be um, some sort of protections there, more than we've got already. I don't think we can leave it to Facebook or Twitter to police themselves because they've not done it so far. Do you know if I was in charge of the UK, and I often say, Daniel, it's uh, a, a good job for everyone, I'm not. I would really try and force through a simple change when it comes to things like social media platforms. And that would be you cannot set up an anonymous account, a truly anonymous account. Because that, for me, if you took away people just being able to mm. call themselves, I'm Bob the Builder, mm. you know, no, you're not. Um, and if you actually had to be who you said that you are at the point of registering, so if anyone wants to say to me, oh, Michelle, some people need to be anonymous, you could present anom anonymously so you could disguise yourself at the point of what people would see, but to set up the account in the first place, you have to uh, be validated, you have to be who you say that you are. I think that would immediately stop a lot of the problems that we experience and I think it's a wonderful idea. And if I was ever elected as the Prime Minister, uh, that's one of the things that I would try and create. Well, what I do you make to that? Because there are a number, I can think of five people at the moment who are looking for popular ideas. Um, and so you could just pop that on an email to all of them. It could be law by the end of the month. No, because no, then they'd claim it as their own good idea and I wouldn't get any glory. You're, you're on the telly, you get in there first. Look, let's we'll start with the bill. This is one of the worst, most catastrophic bills to be brought, brought before Parliament. It is not any right that it should have been delayed. It should be absolutely scratched and start all over again. It turns uh, the big Twitter, Facebook companies into policemen of our lives. They will police what we do. They will police it through algorithms which can never be subtle enough to pick up what people are saying. So whole swathes of people... Do you not think that they do that out. already, people like they, Twitter? They do, but they will do it now with the force of law. And because it will be a legal obligation on them, they will do it err on the cautious side. So it will become... You will reduce Twitter to somewhere that will be OK for sending Mother's Day greetings. That will go just about OK. And, and, and nothing very much beyond that, because that, this is going to kill social media entirely and nobody will want, to part, will want to be part of it. But of course it won't kill it because it's like when the printing press was invented and people tried to ban books and whatever. Uh, you, 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 people are going to get around it. They'll say we won't use Twitter. They'll go all the way around it. You have these VPNs, don't ask me the technology, VPNs and other ways of getting around behind the back of internet communications anonymously and that's what people will do. So this, this is a totally disastrous bill. It also creates an, a whole set of offences of things that are called legal but harmful. Mm. So there'll be legal things that Lisa will be able to say in her university environment. But if she then put her lecture on Twitter, it would become... It would actually have to be taken off. That's happening already. 